Aberdeen sailed across the sea. Angus John McPherson was his name. His ambition was to be a star in Nashville, Tennessee, and have his name in the country hall of fame. To agents and promoters and other folks he went. He tried to do the very best he could. But they all told him, Mac, my boy, we're sorry we can't help. But as a singer, lad, you are no good. Oh, mighty disappointed, he never would give up the urge to play the music of his choice. Said he, as he practiced his favorite country songs, I'll play my pipes if I can't use my voice. Afternoon, he was sitting in his room, playing on the pipes he loved so well. A man in dark glasses with a contract in his hand rushed in and said, "I've something good to tell. Sign him, my boy, and I will make a mighty star of you with something new for all the world to see. We'll change the tunes you always play on your old bagpipes for Nashville pipers. What you gonna be?" That very night at the Opry show, the people were amazed as Angus Mack came out in his kilt and played the songs they knew and loved and had heard for many years. This time they had that special Scottish lilt. Overnight he was a star, his fame spread through the land. His kind of music cast a magic spell. His name will live forever in the country hall of fame. The Nashville Piper we all love so well. 